So what would you tell someone who maybe feels like they're in a place where they are stagnant in their faith? They just kind of don't know where to turn. They they want to maybe be quote on fire for Christ, but they're just they're just not sure how and maybe they feel like they can't muster up the strength to do that. Yeah, I think this is a really important question because it what it, what it what it leads to is I think a common misconception in the church. People want to work themselves into a fi- on fire relationship with God as if it, they're the ones that are the authors of the fiery relationship with God. And so I want to I want to clarify something. Um, for me personally, it's not about I'm so disciplined that I'm going to read the word and all of a sudden I'm going to be on fire for God because I've disciplined myself. 21 days equal a habit. I've now read the word 21 days in a row. Now I'm going to, I'm, I'm a biblical Christian. It's not about discipline. It's not about you implanting the desire in your own heart. This is, this is a really important point. What you need to do is lay down, literally lay down on your face on the floor and you need to go before the Lord and go, God, Show me who you are. And Father, give me a desire for you. Implant a hunger for you. I want to want to desire you. I want to want to pray. But I need you to open up and awaken that desire in my heart for me. And that, that's a critical step of going, it's not about you working hard. It's about allowing Christ to work in you. And you got to ask him to come in and fill you with the Holy Spirit, give you that opportunity to fall deeper in understanding of him. And so for me, over the years, as I've become more and more uh, connected to Christ, I feel like I'm working less and less. And it's actually something in me that's kind of increasing, progressing on its own. And it's from the Holy Spirit's work in me. It's not my work of disciplining myself to read scripture. Now, I am going to say, uh, you know, there, there is some truth in the fact that by doing, we understand. And so it's important to also discipline yourself to go read the word because your flesh is never going to want to read scripture. Your flesh is never going to want to go pray. You know, we, we, Galatians says that there's a war happening between your flesh and your spirit. So just don't expect that you're going to be all gung-ho about, let's go and read the Bible this morning. That's always going to be a difficult thing. But the desire that the Lord can put in you can overcome that. I think that it's perfectly encapsulated in the verse. I think it's Philippians 2. I know it's Philippians, but I'm trying to think of what chapter that to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. If you just read that phrase alone, I think a lot of people can see that as legalistic or earning our faith or cultivating our faith in and of ourselves. But then you see the next phrase that says, for it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So work out your salvation with fear and trembling. How do you do that? Well, it's God who works in you. So even the work that we're doing, the discipline that we're enacting, the praying that we're doing, the desire that we have to do those things, all of that comes from God. And I think that you pointed that out clearly and really importantly, that we can't even want to want to do those things. Like I I can't even want to want to be disciplined to read the word. I can't even do that. I need Christ to even initiate that desire in me. And I think that that's really an important fundamental understanding when you become a Christian of just how totally and completely unable and depraved we are and how perfect and holy and powerful Christ is. Um, I think a lot of people think that that's self-deprecating, but actually it gives complete confidence and assurance 